You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Javanokelo live from Seattle, Washington, USA. Greetings, greetings beautiful people. My name is Simon Javan Okelo. I am excited to be here with you for another amazing episode of the African Father in America podcast. We are live and direct uh, on YouTube. If you are uh, joining me today for the for the, uh, the, the the live recording of the African Father in America podcast here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We are also live on TikTok, we are live on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn and uh, I want you to make sure you are engaging with this conversation. If you are joining the show for the first time, uh, I just want you to know that this is something that is very, very important to me. Uh, this is a show that is also very important to my community because every day when we gather here, we share beautiful African proverbs. You know, every day we come with new African proverbs. Our goal is to elevate the African culture, you know. So we share these African proverbs and we also dissect them. We learn from them. So uh, I see a lot of love on TikTok. Over 140 people have joined me over there. Make sure you're sharing the live. Make sure you're double tapping the screen uh, so that everybody else can know that we are here right now to elevate the African culture. And uh, before I share with you the proverb for today, so there are two things I'll do uh, and then our show is going to end. But also I am being hosted by Eric Omondi, Africa's most uh, sought after comedian uh, is going to host me and we are going to, that's right at 5 o'clock Kenya time, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's exactly an hour from now. So you should join me on Instagram Live. I will be on the Madaraka Festival page. And you're probably wondering, what is this Madaraka Festival? So I want to tell you a little bit about it. I want to tell you why I love the Madaraka Festival. I just shared it. For those who can watch me on the screen, um, you know, I know that those who are on TikTok can only see my image. But those who are watching on YouTube and LinkedIn and Facebook can also see the banner for the Madaraka Festival that I just put up on the screen that says Madaraka Festival USA Tour 23. This is the most amazing festival that is going to happen for the African community and the African-American community here in the USA. You know, this is the most important event that is happening here in the United States of America this year. The reason is because um, we are bringing uh, a lot of love, a lot of joy and a lot of togetherness. Uh, and this is driven by music. And it's also driven by East African music that is rarely uh, celebrated here in the U.S. A lot of the time you only hear about Afrobeat and then you forget that African music uh, has so many genres, you know. But East African music is actually popping, you know, uh, Saudi Soul, uh, who are the award-winning boy band from Kenya, are headlining Madaraka Festival this year. And uh, Eddie Kenzo from Uganda is also... Uh, one of the headliners, King Kaka from Kenya, Drez, uh, DJ Poison Ivy, uh, DJ Freddie Mook. So we have a strong, beautiful lineup. Go to MadarakaFestival.com and also go to my profile if you're on TikTok and get your ticket right now. Uh, and if you are on, you know, Twitter, if you are on any other platform, uh, just check out the profile you know the link on my profile and you will be able to learn more you'll be able to uh, get your ticket and i'm telling you this is this is the most beautiful event that you'll ever attend this year we've been putting so much work into it for the last nine years we have been producing madaraka festival uh here in seattle and we did it once in kenya and eric omondi who is hosting me after this is going to be 
the he was the host he was the host in 2019 and he did an incredible job and he's continued to support this amazing work that we are doing the other thing that is very unique about Madaraka festival is that it's the only festival that is intentionally produced in order for us to gather resources you know we get music instruments we get recording gears film production gears music production gears and once we gather all these things in the course of the festival season we take them to africa we take them to kisumu kenya where we run an education music and art program we take some of these things to uganda we take some of these things to tanzania and so as we are pushing for this festival right now we also have a campaign going on on classy.org so if you go to classy.org you'll be able to learn a little more uh, about this campaign that is organized in partnership with mama hope mama hope is a great organization that serves many many organizations across east africa they provide funding to small organizations that are doing great work but now they are working together with us to ensure that we get all the resources we need uh to bring free music education to East Africa. So again thank you if you've been listening until this moment. That means that you are wonderful and you are great and you are amazing. But I want to share the proverb for the day. I know that some of you just come here to learn what the proverb is and to learn the the nuggets of wisdom related to that proverb. So our proverb today is from Zaire or Congo. You know, Congo is literally the center of Africa, you know. And this proverb says that jealousy can change a man into a leopard. Jealousy can change a man into a leopard. Have you ever been in a situation where you can literally see um someone's face change just because they are so jealous? You know, someone's character change just because they are so jealous. Someone's a uh, pattern of behavior changes just because they're so jealous of you you know sometimes you see this in siblings sometimes you see this in colleagues sometimes you see this in neighbors they turn into leopards just because they're so jealous but sometimes even us ourselves we know it we are sometimes jealous of others and in those moments we realize that we have so many um uh, different characters of who we are uh that we are not we can't stay the same we are so dotted just like the leopard but let's listen to the three nuggets of wisdom that are related to this proverb the first one here says that cultivating gratitude and appreciating and appreciating what you have can help you with jealousy a lot of the time you know um we just want especially if you're living here in America as an african immigrant like myself uh you know we are always taught that you know once you get in this country you need to do five jobs you know so that you can make this amount of money so that you can buy this kind of car so that you can live in this kind of neighborhood so that you can build this kind of house back home so that you can do this kind of things back home you know uh but nobody tells you about your mental health nobody tells you to cultivate gratitude uh and appreciation for the little that you have you know nobody tells you that after you have all these things that uh you see other people having uh you will never have even uh the health to enjoy it so uh it's really important to cultivate gratitude and appreciation for what you have uh so that you can manage the level of jealousy that you have number 2 Uh, recognizing and celebrating success uh, of others can help reduce feelings of, of envy uh, this is really important you know uh, a lot of the time especially when we are living in the social media era we see that a friend of ours has 500,000 followers their accounts have been verified they are getting sponsorship endorsements but you uh, you've been doing the work you're putting out content you're organizing events but you're not getting what you want you know so you end up being jealous and envious instead of recognizing your friend and telling them wow how did you get here congratulations you know um and then 
they will give you tips they will share with you ideas they'll show you how to improve you know i remember um, kenya americani tv uh, shout out to gary wainaina who is the host of kenya americani tv who one day uh, i was he was hosting me on his show and i joined the show on my camera the same setup that i'm joining it uh, that i'm i'm doing the show with right now and i've done this show for many many years well this is the third year so i was like the, in the second year of doing this show but there was a setting on my camera that i had not figured out but gary saw my live stream and he saw the framing of the of the of the camera and he immediately knew what was wrong and he told me exactly what to do so i went off the live and i fixed it and that's part of why this live stream looks so beautiful you know but gary started live streaming long after i started and he's he's growing because he has figured out a niche he's just focusing on the kenyan community strictly you know i focus on the entire african diaspora from africa to brazil that's why i share different proverbs from different parts of uh, the motherland and so uh, because i was not jealous and envious of him in fact i was on his show he was interviewing me about the work i do with madaraka festival you know family and stuff like that uh, i was able to learn something from him immediately and what i learned from him helps me until today so this is something really really important number 3 focusing on your own goals and progress can help you stay motivated and avoid comparing yourself to others this is really really important imagine that usain bolt was running as fast as he was running and he was just looking at others who are running around him i don't think he would be the fastest man ever you know imagine eliud kipchoge who is uh, still still the goat you know still the greatest of all time he's the only one to run under 2 hours you know ever on a marathon uh, competition but he is always focused even though he has uh, he runs with a group of people who are like pace setters you know for him uh, i remember when he was breaking the record uh, neom neom i think it was neom 22 or neom 2022 uh in in uh in austria you know the whole world was watching this guy you know everybody uh was tuned in from all over the world i woke up at 2 am in the morning here in seattle to just see this guy run and break this record you know but i never saw him looking around i just saw him focusing 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 and the only time he looked around was at the end of the race when he was giving his wife a hug when he was giving his coach a hug so it's really important that you focus on your goals sometime you might feel like your goal is the worst goal and everybody around you is talking about it everybody around you is saying how crazy you are but that's your goal you know that's your goal that's your gift so just stay focused on it and finally it will work out finally uh, those people who are talking uh, poorly about what you're trying to accomplish will come back and they will be the ones who are asking you to tell them how you are able to do it so uh, those are the three nuggets of wisdom for today and our proverb says that jealousy can change a man into a leopard so we've actually ended the show now you see this beautiful madaraka festival uh shirt that i'm wearing i just want you to know that it's available at the museum of history and industry mohai here in seattle washington but also if you dm me today on instagram uh, or on any platform you will be able to get yours uh if if you are in kenya you can also get yours you know eric omondi is going to be wearing one of these uh you know sweatshirts so if you want uh you know if you want to have one of these dm me or dm madaraka festival on on instagram and we will be able to get you such a beautiful merchandise for the madaraka festival uh i just want to thank you all for being with me the whole week you know i've done this show uh this entire week monday to friday and i want to know who is joining me i see my brother herald charles who is also part of our team in Kenya joining us on Facebook 
but i want to see who else is joining me today if you are on facebook linkedin twitter youtube just uh, leave me with a comment there so that i know that i'm not alone you know because i see you guys watching <laughs> i see a lot of you on tiktok thank you make sure you're sharing this link please make sure you're double tapping that screen and also i need to know where in the world you're joining me from and what does this proverb mean to you jealousy can change a man into a leopard what does it mean to you share in the comments and if you're going to watch this live stream later on after i have ended it please let me know also in the comment what this proverb means to you because for me as an african living here in the diaspora it's so critical it's so critical that we continue to remind ourselves about this ancestral wisdom this is ancestral wisdom and if you look at the culture of the uh, of the of the indigenous people you know the indigenous people are the protectors of the earth you know uh, earth day is coming up in this you know uh, in april and you find that here in america i'm learning that indigenous people are the protectors of this land even though uh, you know the the white people that came and conquered this land and took it over from the owners uh, are still here with us today uh, the owners and the indian people that have interacted with they have so much uh, knowledge about their land and they have so much knowledge because they've preserved their proverbs their poetry their music their clothing you know so uh, i just want you all to remember that these proverbs also exist in other cultures we have chinese proverbs we have indian proverbs we even have european proverbs so a lot of the time us africans we laugh at our proverbs we laugh at people who use these proverbs but i want you to consider just embracing them a little more you know because um it's ours you know we can't we can't uh, and this is really something that this proverb is talking about uh we can't we can't just dismember it and throw it away jealousy can change a man into a leopard you know don't let being jealous of other people's cultures and other people's way of living make you turn into a leopard and forget about your own culture and so i just want you to remember that as we end our show today and also thank you and i hope that you can join me again next week on monday but importantly in about 30 minutes join me on instagram we will be there with eric omondi who is one of the most incredible comedians in africa and the world and is a supporter of the work that we are doing with the Madaraka Festival and if you don't know anything about Madaraka Festival and you are just joining the show i have added something really good on my screen so that if you are on the platforms where you can see it you can actually you know Madaraka is a swahili word and it means liberation in short but it's also a holiday in Kenya Uh, celebrated every June 1st and it's the day that the British left Kenya for Kenyans to decide how they were going to uh, run their own affairs run their own country and uh, I'm passionate about it because uh, we've been producing this festival for nine years and through this uh, we've found our own liberation we've started our own organization known as One Vibe Africa and we are running amazing programs you know an education music and that program in Kenya that provides uh incredible opportunities for young people uh in fact this at the end of this month and every end of the month the last week of the month we have an amazing music program uh that is led by Shamir Tadea one of the most uh, gifted vocal coaches guitar coaches artist amazing in fact the intro and outro for this podcast if you hear that song it was recorded at our studio in Kenya by Shamir Tadea you know that's his voice in the intro and outro for this podcast if you have your podcast and you want to make a beautiful intro and outro you should let me know because those are some of the things that we do you know those are some of the things that we do uh, we love what we do and uh, i just want to thank you and i want you to take care of yourself i'll see you in about 30 minutes on instagram where we will be having a deeper conversation about 
Madaraka Festival and why it's such a necessary platform. Take care of yourselves. Peace and love. <laughs> African father in America. Tujikaze, tujikaze, jikaze. Tujikaze, tujikaze, jikaze. Africa, jikaze, tujikaze, jikaze. America. Tujikaze, tujikaze, jikaze. You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Javanokelo, live from Seattle, Washington, USA.